Thanks, Ron. The hit musical Into the Woods takes the stage at Lincoln Amphitheater under the direction of Evansville native actor, director, producer Matthew Herman <laughs> and friend of local lifestyles. Good to see you this morning. So good to see you, Angie. How are you doing today? I am good. I'm excited about uh, Into the Woods. It's one of my favorite musicals. Well, I'm excited too. Um, yeah, we. Um, I had the opportunity of doing it last year, and with everything being shut down, uh, a lot of the cast really bonded and, and really wanted to, to come and do it again. And so fortunately, the Lincoln Amphitheater was available, and we could do it socially distanced. And I mean, the stage is 80 feet wide, so we'll be able to space <laughs> it all out and make that happen. <laughs> well, when is it going to go up? Uh, it's going to go up uh, October 2nd and 3rd at the end of the month, and it's going to be uh, a 7 p.m. Central Time curtain. Is that just one, one performance only? No, we're going to do Friday night. We're going to do Saturday night. So okay. nice we're going to do it twice. It's so nice. Let's do it twice. Well, Ron says the weather's looking pretty good right then, but he'll give you a, a forecast a little closer to the event. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. As you know, when we were looking about doing it again, I, I gave you a call to check out to see how the forecast would look. Because, you know, <laughs> well, I 2020, do... who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh, my goodness. Well, let's talk a bit about the People's Theater. Yes. Well, the People's Theater of Southern Indiana is a new is a new theater that I founded, and um, it's in my time in you know I I work and live in Los Angeles, but I always enjoy coming coming back to the tri-state, and I see there's so much talent, and so what I wanted to do was to create an, another platform um, that we can go and produce and and do shows and really represent different voices and work on some uh, original works as well as established plays and and get that stuff done. Where can folks go to learn more about it or maybe get involved with the People's Theater, Matt? Well, we're currently building the website. It's very new. We formed it just uh, with this production. Um, what had happened was, uh, you know, when you do a show and you have a cast and there's so many different people coming together to, to create something, you really create a bond and a sense of community. That's and true. so when we were looking to do it again, um, I said, well, here's the opportunity. Let's go and, and do this. But there will be... Um, We'll do a Facebook page. We'll roll all that stuff out. Uh, ticket information for the show is available at LincolnAmphitheater.com. Um, and so you can find about the show and the production, and, and it'll, there'll be a link when we get everything going in. It's, <laughs> we're really just started. <laughs> well, that's good, though. I mean, it, it'll be great for people to be able to get in on the ground floor and kind of watch this uh, build from the ground up. We have, as you, as you well know, it's the reason you come home, a great theater community here. It's a tremendous uh, yeah. theater community, and one thing that I think is so great about theater is it's one of the, especially in these times where you know where there's the forced distance and there's divisiveness and that stuff. Uh, theater and live entertainment is one of the last places where you can get people from all walks of life, other sets of beliefs and stuff, to come in and work together to sit in a dark room and pretend, both on stage and in the audience. And it's really that sense of uh, togetherness and pride and community that really shines so well here in Evansville. Let everybody know where you went to school when you were living back here in Evansville. Well, <laughs> uh, for my senior year of high school, I went to Mount Vernon uh, Senior High, but then my senior year, I was able to go to the signature school. So I would go to Mount Vernon in the morning, drive to Wrights, check in on Wrights, catch the bus, and then take the bus down to signature school. So I was in the ground floor there as well. <laughs> right after it was the base motel, they still had the blood in the hallways from the haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, I live right down there by that, by the way. Matthew, thank oh gosh, you so it much. Now. It's so good to see you, and we'll look forward it's to so seeing you see when you come home into the woods. Fantastic. October 2nd and 3rd. Thank you so much for having me on. It's always good to see you, Angie. Good to see you too. Take care. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.